Okay, so what are we really looking at here? We're talking about toxic behaviors. And one of the toxic behaviors is this idea of inclusiveness versus exclusive. Or really that whole idea of exclusiveness is really leaving the world, right? In the 80s, you'd always see, we have this exclusive offer. Blah, blah, blah. And you don't really even see that word brought up anymore in marketing because we're not there anymore. So we wanna have a very inclusive environment. And that is the way we can avoid toxic behaviors because for my example with this person that we call Sue, she wanted exclusive service from everyone, right? She didn't wanna have inclusive, like no, you're one of a community of people being served. And so everybody gets their turn, everybody gets their time, but nobody should be at the top of the list just because. We talked about privilege before and a lot of this stuff connects with that idea of privilege right? What we think we deserve and should get just by being in a particular group. What I've come to decide, because I'm really tired of the hierarchy of I'm the boss, you're the employee, that structure exists for a reason, right? I'm not saying that structure should not exist, but our culture is based on this hierarchy of like, your house is better than my house because your house was built like this and my house was built like that. Or your child's better than my child because your child is doing these things and my child is not included in those things. You know, it's just weird and it's unnecessary and it's toxic. And so I've really come to the point where I'm tired of the, of the su superiority thinking. I'm tired of the hierarchy that we want to embed in so many things that we do. But also we all need to start recognizing that empathy is pity without judgment. And the reason why people are like, I don't need your pity. I don't want your pity. When they say that, it's because they feel like they're being judged. They're not feeling the empathy, like I empathize with you. I can understand what it's like to be in your shoes. That really sucks, right? But pity is like, oh, it's too bad that you are that you live in that neighborhood. Because if you didn't live in that neighborhood, that wouldn't have happened to you. That kind of, <laughs> that kind of thing. So watch out for the pity versus empathy piece and watch out for the judgment. Check yourself, pay attention. When are you having this superiority thinking and thinking that one thing, one person's better than another, one thing's better than another, and what is it based on? And definitely watch out for that disgruntive to passive aggressive situation. If you find yourself trying to make everything as difficult as possible for people, you are in this passive aggressive state and you definitely want to get out of it. It is so destructive to yourself. It's destructive to yourself in your mental health, aside from what it does to everybody around you.